Adrian here. Check it out. This is the Drone Days Bugs. Drone Days is the best Facebook group for drones on Facebook. And what's look what's in his grill. Big old camera. Um, the camera that is actually in his grill isn't that big at all. It is actually the little mini Firefly camera. Dude, no modification. It fit right in between here. I was able to pitch it backwards, get some back pitch on it. Now we're just gonna fly line of sight and test that camera. Be aware, when you turn this camera on, it starts recording. Um, I wasn't aware and I thought that I was standby and I pressed it and I went and flew and then I brung it down and it's recording. So once you turn on, you get a flashing little LED light in there. That means you're recording. If it's steady, that means you're not recording. Now all I gotta do is snap that back on and we are good to go. So uh, stay tuned for the footage. It is very, very cloudy out. You can see the clouds. So uh, don't take this into consideration. Hey, this is the best quality you can get from the Firefly. This is the best quality you can get for a very cloudy day when it's about ready to rain. All right, guys, so here we go. Take notice to what you see right now. That's what it is out. That's how dark it is out right now. Also, you need to long hold the mode button if you want to shoot in 1080p. I didn't know that we're shooting in 720p. Look how, look how bright it got facing that ground. That's pretty good. Again, when we were sitting on the ground, that's about how bright it is out. And this thing's doing really well to contrast that and brighten it up and adjust to the darkness. Right there, that's probably about the correct amount and then it just adjusted again um it is really really cloudy it's gonna rain at any point right now but i decided to take this out anyway because i wanted to test the camera i wanted to test it on the drone i was super stoked that it fit in the grill of the bugs three's mouth so again this is a cloudy day run and right there it's it's definitely it's adjusted to the darkness on the ground which is pretty cool as we face towards the clouds you'll notice the transition it's about a one two three it's about a three second transition one two three as you can see and then it concentrates on the actual true color that it is actually outside there's no sun out um you can see the blades the blades are in the image that's because it's pitched backwards the camera itself uh maybe on a, on a day that i'm not going to be super duper heavy pitching actually doing some climbing because that's what we're doing right now we're doing a little high climb here uh maybe i should just position it forward and again this camera dude it's twenty dollars this camera it fit right in the grill of the Bugs 3's mouth. No modification, no tape, no filler, no stuffing, no nothing. It fit in there, dude. It fit and it fit and it fit. I'm going to say it one more time. It just fit. Um, I showed you in the beginning, man. It, there's, I don't got nothing. I, Dude, I'm like the biggest user of double-sided tape ever. <laughs> um, I have rolls of double-sided tape. I have pre-cut rolls of slices of double-sided tape. I love me some double-sided tape. I didn't use no double-sided tape. I didn't use uh, Velcro straps. I didn't use zip ties. Rammed it right in its mouth, and here we go. We're flying. Um, if, if we threw an A-I-O, A-I-O, all-in-one AKK camera on this and took this for an FPV run on a better day with better conditions, we're probably going to get a lot better footage. There you can see I'm doing some manual flipping, trying to do some manual flipping anyway. But as you can see, as we're nose down, and this is pitched towards the ground, this quality is pretty darn good. And again, it's in 720p. This does shoot in 1080p. You want to go ahead and long hold your mode button until that LED turns green. If your LED is blue, you are shooting in 720p. I didn't know that. I don't like to read instructions. I didn't know that. Just as well as this is my second flight with this camera, and you won't see the first footage flight because uh, it wasn't recording. <laughs> it wasn't recording because when you start this camera, it automatically starts recording for some reason, and uh, I didn't know that. So I stopped it and started flying. There's a little manual, a little flip corkscrew type thing there. Um, and I started flying and I got home. I, I wasn't too happy. I took the Bugs 8 Pro out on the jumper. And I think the Bugs 8 Pro on the jumper, I think the jumper gives a little bit too much. Because I was getting a little floppy, floppy in my flight. This Bugs 3, bam, little barrel roll into a flip. How you like this? This is not an acro flyer. This is being done manual. Um, I absolutely love this new DFU file that uh, we got 
thanks to the guys over at Deviation, it has turned up these drones considerably. Again, I think maybe the Bugs 8 Pro might need some straight props on it. I think those small tri-blades uh, with the extreme pitch that's added here might be a little bit too much. I will have that DVR post. I did get the DVR footage from it. Unfortunately, we did not get the Firefly Cube. That's what I'm calling this, the Firefly Cube footage. And again, right now we are landing. I got my LVC. You can see this is about how dark it is. Bam. And then it transforms transitions as it looks down it is really good at transitioning there's a pr almost a clean backflip um but yeah man this i'm liking it for twenty dollars it was twenty dollars well spent and this i'm showing you worst possible case scenario this is worst 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 time to be flying if you want to record footage um if you are a hard or 3s 4s 5s racer and your nose is going to be down the entire time you're probably not going to have this transition shake that i'm showing you on a cloudy day because your nose is going to be angled down towards the ground and you're going to be catching the ground a lot more than i am right now um this is not an acro drone this is gyro stabilized so as i do a flip or as i get done pitching forward it's going back to stabilize like right now and because the camera is actually pitched upwards it's catching the clouds like it's doing right now so take all that into consideration and again guys 720p I'm shooting right now we're doing a little bit of a climb and again we're flat so it's actually looking up and bam backstall how you like the backstall how you like the backstall bam <laughs> uh, we, we probably just dropped uh, several hundred feet maybe nothing yeah, I'm going to say maybe 100, maybe 200 feet on our back and then caught it. Uh, lots of fun. Lots of fun. And to be able to get this type of footage off of something that I didn't have to mod. I didn't have to mod. I didn't have to tape. I didn't have to double-sided tape. I didn't have to Velcro. I didn't have to zip tie. Just popped the shell and ram it in its mouth. <laughs> um, that was a failed, uh, failed little barrel roll there and again I'm really just messing around with this. That was clean. That was pretty clean. The drone on the jumper is able to do manual flips pretty easily if you know how to do them. Um, I think it's a little bit easier to do them on the TASG, the silver one, versus this one with the Hall gimbals because the Hall gimbals you have to be a little bit more precise as opposed to the silver one where you can kind of just ram the sticks really quick and it does flips pretty quickly, um, pretty nicely without having to finesse it. With this, you kind of have to finesse it and really know what you're doing because the hall gimbals on this are so smooth, so precise. And again, the view that we're getting right here is about true view, where you have the dark clouds and the dark town. And that's about true view color. Um, and again, bam, it brightens up when we go down. So guys, if you are racing drones and you want this this might be perfect no matter what conditions it is. Obviously, if it was sunshine and you had the button held, your mode button held until the LED turned green, which I didn't, and it turned 1080p. I mean, look at the grass. We're getting super bright footage here, even though it's considerably dark day out. There, There's no sun peeking through. I think maybe around 12 o'clock we had a little bit of sun, but then it's been clouded up for the most part. And again, bam, try to backflip, did a little corkscrew right there. Uh, all fun, all fun, guys. And $20. I can't, I can't repeat that enough. $20. The, the Firefly Q6, I absolutely love the Firefly Q6. That drone is a low profile drone, dude. That cost me like $70 a pop each time. I have three of them. So do your math. 70 times three. Divide that by 20. That's how many of these cameras I can have. Sure, the Firefly Q6 is probably going to shoot a little bit better video quality. It also shoots in 4K, but $20, man. Um, I can't wait. I'm off work tomorrow. I'm going to charge up some batteries uh, and have them on standby for when I wake up tomorrow if I don't have too much to do. Um, and then hopefully get this out in the sun. Hopefully I can get this out in the sun maybe around prime time, maybe around 11 a.m. to like 2 p.m. and see how we're looking. See if we're going to get a super crisp uh, video and I will shoot in 1080p again this was shot in 720p because I don't like to read manuals <laughs> and that's why you're also not seeing the previous shoot with the Bugs 8 Pro because I don't like to read manuals and I didn't know what the buttons did I, I didn't know the operation of the camera I really learned this camera trial and error without the instructions which just means it's a pretty simple camera uh, I didn't need the instructions but I should have did the trial and error before I decided to go out and fly 
Um, guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. And again, the drone days that was written across the side of this bugs in the beginning of the video, that is the best Facebook group for drones. Don't matter if you got a DJI, don't matter if you got a JJRC, don't matter if you have an agriculture drone, a racing drone, whatever. Get with it. Link for the camera will be down below. Link for the group will be down below. I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, please do it later.